and you have yourself your very own oil blend hey my loves welcome back to my channel and welcome if you're new so in today's video i'm gonna be showing you guys how to make this hair growth oil for your tea now i'll also be talking about some of my favorite oils that i've been using for the past few years and i'll also be talking about some benefits of incorporating oil in your natural hair care routine so if you're interested to know what this hair growth oil contains or if you're interested to know the oils that i've been using over the past few years to help me grow and retain my hair length then stick around for the rest of the video now with that being said let us head right into today's video now for this hair growth oil, I'll not be using my rosemary and meringue blend simply because the butter that I created a few weeks ago that I've been using in my hair contains rosemary and meringue leaf. And I have this thing where I call it ingredient overload. I don't know if there is actually a name for it, but I do not like to use the same exact ingredients in every product that I use in my hair. So while some ingredients might be the same, I like to have a little variety while using products in my hair. So for today's video, I'll be working with two oil blends and one pure oil. So now this is the, the feel, different feel Ohova oil blend. And this is the tea tree oil blend. Now these oil blends contain about five to six different oils. So you can actually use these as hair growth oil on their own. They also have a leaf extract, which I think is an amazing addition to any oil. But for today's video, I wanted to spice things up a little bit because neither one of these oils have Jamaican black castor oil. And if you know me and you've been watching my videos, then you know that I really love my Jamaican black castor oil. The tea tree oil soothes itchy, dry scalp while moisturizing and detoxifying your hair and the ojoba oil is used to help thicken thin lifeless hair to leave it feeling fuller silkier and more manageable so while as i said earlier these oils both have about six different oils in it about four of the oils are the same in each oil so the only difference is the ojoba oil in this one and the tea tree oil in this one this one also has a little castor oil but it's not jamaican black castor oil and for me i love my jamaican black castor oil so in everything i use i try my best to incorporate jamaican black castor oil in it so i wanted to use these two blends and the pure jamaican black castor oil to create the hair growth oil that i'll be incorporating in my routine for my 10 month hair growth challenge so both the oil blends contain sweet almond oil olive oil sunflower seed oil soya bean oil and as i've said earlier the only diff real difference is the ojoba in this one the tea tree and the castor oil in this no the tea tree oil has rosemary leaf extract in it it has sage leaf extract in it the ojoba oil has spirulina ginseng root and some other leaf extract and I did mention earlier that adding herbs or extracts to your oil make it an amazing oil because they have other benefits that the oils may not have, which may be essential for hair growth. So without further ado, let's get right into making oil. So I started out with my base oil, which is about 15 ml of Jamaican black castor oil. And for the mixture, I was going for 15 ml Jamaican black castor oil, about 45 ml tea tree oil, and about 30 ml ojoba oil. So that is the ratio that I'm working towards today. So let's get right into the tutorial. So I haven't actually pulled the oils as yet. I did, however, take a little smell because I like to smell stuff. <laughs> so... The tea tree oil, it smells like something you can eat, like candy. So that's a nice scent that I'd like to put in my hair. So as I said earlier, I want this to be about 45 ml in the oil blend. So I'll just be adding 15. No, 
I'll probably be adding 30 ml because I don't think the container would be able to hold that much oil. So I'll be adding 30 ml of tea tree oil, 15 ml of Jamaican black castor oil, and about 20 ml of jojoba oil. So I might need to use the top as a funnel because I don't want to waste any of my oil. So this is the 15 ml of tea tree oil and you want to be as patient as possible not to waste any of the oil. It's valuable, real valuable. And you can see the separation in the oil based on the color and the density of each oil because the tea tree oil is a lot lighter and thinner than the castor oil. So they're not going to mix because of the difference in their density and the color. <laughs> So that is the 15 ml of Jamaican black castor oil, 30 ml of tea tree oil. Now I'll be adding 20 ml of ojoba oil. I didn't actually pull the oils as yet. This does not smell like something you can eat, but it does not have a bad scent. So I think... It does not have a strong scent either. It's a subtle smell, but you can smell it, if that makes sense. <laughs> but it's not a strong scent and it's not a bad scent. It's just a new scent. So I'll be pouring out 20 ml of this into the mixture. So that's 10. <laughs> has the same color as the previous oil so they will blend perfectly so this is 20 ml ojoba oil 30 ml tea tree oil and 15 ml jamaican black castor oil so in order to get the castor oil to actually mix with the ojoba oil and tea tree oil i'd actually have to shake the mixture and you have yourself your very own oil blend now as i've said earlier this is what i'll be using on my 10 months hair growth challenge along with the butter that I created a few weeks ago, my regular hair lotion, aloe vera, and my other normal products that I'll be using. So it does smell really good. I'm not even able to smell the castor oil, which you know Jamaican black castor oil has a very strong odor. And I'm not even able to smell the castor oil. So I think it's mixed properly. But that is pretty much the tutorial. And now I'll be talking about a few of my favorite oils that I've been using over the past few years. So I think I have like four favorite oils that I'm really biased towards and they are Jamaican black castor oil, sweet almond oil, grapeseed oil, and coconut oil. Now I really love those four oils. So while we create oils and butter for hair growth, we need to be reminded that our hair follicles produce sebum, which is a natural oil and it's responsible for the appearance and health of our hair. So while we create oils and butter, we don't necessarily need to use a lot of it at a time, a few drops, and we massage it in our scalp and that will help with our hair growth journey. It is essential to add oils in your hair growth regimen simply because oil can be used to seal in moisture into your strands. Oil is used to nourish our hair. We use oils to treat our scalp and 
strengthen our hair strands and those are just a few benefits of using oils so oils in a sense are very important when it comes on to hair growth however we need to remember that too much of one good thing is not enough so that's pretty much the end of the video and i hope you guys enjoyed this hair growth oil that i created and it was simple to use because i used two blends and one pure oil so it was nothing that i created of my own it was just something that i put together that i want to incorporate in my 10 month hair growth challenge so that's pretty much the end of the video if you guys found this video useful or if you like this video leave a comment let me know which oil is your favorite oil and what is your favorite oil blend to use well that's pretty much the end of the video and i'll see you guys in the next one Bye, my loves.